All right, all right. What's up, y'all? It's today, and uh, the real purpose of this video is to basically do a test on this camera here and uh, see how it's going to work out for me. Uh, this is going to be the new camera I'm going to use from now on. So, uh, you know, really I was just going to kind of test out the audio and video on it and uh, see what it looked like before I made any actual videos with it. But I figured, uh, why not go ahead and show you at the same time the, uh, the cameras that I've used in the past for my other videos, which mostly was my phone. And, um, you know, you can get a little look at the, the quality and stuff as well in case you're going to be looking for a different camera. Um, so, I, I purposely have no lights on in this room at all. And, um, besides that, just this window right here is open. So, as far as previous videos are concerned, basically pretty much all of the videos, minus one or two of them something like that they've all pretty much uh, been recorded with this phone my cell phone which is uh, LG Optimus Extreme looks pretty dickered right there it's kinda dirty looking but anyway um, it's obviously not a HD not a HD camera on there or anything um, the video and, and the audio wasn't too bad on it for you know what it is but the, the main problem with it, you know, is I'm looking to make some other videos. I've had quite a few videos on hold that I've been planning on doing. And, you know, there's obviously no tripod mount on this. So it's pretty hard to fiddle fart around with that and, and hold it and stuff while you're trying to make some kind of video. And there's no tripod mount, right? So got a, got a little out. Basically just out, kind of outgrew that and done with it. So... You know, I there was a, at least one video that I've made with this, and the video is uh, how to make your brakes work better, and it's on that 24-inch uh, DK Gen Relee, and I use this Midland 720 HD camera, which is my boys, and uh, you know, it's one of them you can attach to your helmet, handlebars, whatnot, tripod, obviously. Um, it's not the best obviously for any kind of YouTube video or whatever because it doesn't have a display on it or anything like that The other problem with this is that uh, if you've seen that video you already know that the audio starts the, the audio doesn't match up properly the longer you use it. It seems like the farther off the audio gets I mean, it's not super bad, but it was also a little bit grainy, too So I mean for action stuff and you know mounting it on your handlebars and stuff like that It's got a little case waterproof case and stuff that it came with so I mean, in reality, it's a pretty cool little camera. It's great for him. And, uh, you know, that might be awesome for the snowmobile or something. Uh, but anyway, I, uh, I also had this camera. And, uh, you know, I kind of like this one. And, you know, these are relatively inexpensive. And this was actually pretty good picture quality for the most part. Uh, but I was having a problem with this one for a while and it wasn't turning on even when charged. I don't know if it maybe the battery was getting overheated or whatever, but you could open this or you could push the power button or whatever you wanted to, but even if the battery was charged, it was a no-go. So I kind of quit using that one and I got uh I got this here from a guy on eBay. A DVR 805 HD Vivitar, you know, it's got the little flip-flop LCD on it and stuff, which is good if you're gonna vlog or make videos or whatever But the problem I have with this one, you know ever since the day I got it It only takes three second video clips for whatever reason. So I don't know if I was It somebody had it the settings change and I don't know how to change it back or what the problem is But I just never really used this one just because of that. So I I'd paid next to nothing for it and I I got all these cables with it, too so, I mean, even just this mini HDMI to HDMI cable was worth what I paid for it pretty much. So, I wasn't really too worried about that, in all honesty. Um, and then I'll tell you that the funny thing I did to kind of figure out what the problem was with this one was, and and I'm, I'm not, telling, not telling you to do this, you shouldn't be swapping batteries around by any means. So, don't do that. It could be dangerous and it can ruin your equipment, but... Basically, the polarity and and uh, the voltage and everything is the same on this battery. 
as it was on the battery that's in here. The only difference was this one has a bigger milliamp than this one is. Uh, so basically the battery in the Polaroid is a little longer. The width was exactly the same and everything. So that's kind of how I figured out what was wrong with the Polaroid was I put this battery in it and I used a, a cigarette butt and not a used one. It was off a clean tube, a new tube because I make cigarettes but not for me because I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. But um, anyway, I basically just uh, wedged a a cigarette filter between the battery and, and the inside when I put it in there and then it was working fine so then I decided to take that battery out and I put the old battery back in it and for whatever reason now as you just saw this one's been working fine so I don't know what the situation is with that but either way the the quality audio video wise and the whole nine yards is nothing on that thing compared to basically what what, what I got now is I got this Sony to WX80 so um, I, I got it on an op open box deal at Walmart and uh, it turns out after I've checked around a little bit on it this is apparently a pretty darn good little camera so um, if, if you're looking for one to make you some YouTube videos or whatnot with that might be something you're looking for um, this is a full full 1080 camera and uh, it's you know, got Wi-Fi and, and all kinds of stuff. I mean, it's it's apparently going to be going to be great, but we're finding out. That's what this video is for. So, anyway, I just thought I'd show you real quick. You know what I had used in the past. Like I said, mainly every every video was this. But if you've seen some of the other videos, I've tried to do stuff that you would want to do with a tripod camera, and I dropped my phone and probably blew your speakers out and stuff. So, if I did, I, I apologize for that. So. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue anymore, and obviously it shouldn't be. So um, that's pretty much it. That'll conclude this test. And uh, like I said, in this room, there are no lights on. It's basically just the window open. It's kind of a nice sunny day. Um, so there you have it. So until next time, I'll see you then.